Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another dividend update video for the portfolio. It is halfway through the month of November, and it has been an insane, crazy, ludicrous first half of the month. I mean, the election was just crazy enough, right? But let's take a look at, guys, how the portfolio has performed so far. Now, unfortunately, I can't really do the uh, payout dates and next dividend dates for the portfolio because, well, the spreadsheets macro doesn't work. I don't know why. I'm assuming Antonio will eventually fix it. So, yeah. But we'll see what happens with that. Nonetheless, though, we're really going to take a look at the options premiums and the dividends. Not so much the buys and the sells because I have not done any this month. So let's actually get started. But before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well as for more. Make sure to follow us on X at Fiddle Investing. Like, join us on Discord, which is the best way to catch these videos, the shorts, and the live streams. Link is in the description below. So with that said, let's get started with this video. All right, guys. So let's just jump right into the options premiums. And well, you guys can see that the one from October, the one that I sold, the cover call that I sold for October, uh, well, on October for January 17th is still currently active. And well, it still hasn't reached anywhere near not even $200, right? So this is probably not going to happen. But I did sell a cash secured put now it's been a while since i've sold a cash secured put so far this year right it's been i did a few of them really bad ones up here right but i um stopped as you guys can see and then i recently just started doing it again and yeah i just sold a covered call for that of nike for a strike of 76 dollars expiring tomorrow by the time you guys see this it'll, it'll expire friday so you guys saw my recent video when it comes to Nike. This is something that I am willing to buy. Now, the goal right now is to see if this thing goes in the money. If this thing falls under $76 by Friday, I'll probably let it expire just so that way I can get, or I'll probably let it execute. There you go. So that way I could actually just get my 100 shares at $76. If not, if I don't see it anywhere near $76 by Friday, I'm probably just going to buy my 100 shares. Yes, I am going to buy 100 shares of Nike. On Friday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy back this cash you could put. And I'm then going to buy the 100 shares. And then I'm going to start just selling covered calls, weekly covered calls, at a little bit higher price. And I'm just going to want to collect those $25 premiums pretty much every single week until A, it goes in the money. That really is it. So I'm going to keep selling them much higher than 76, maybe around like 80 or 82. But the goal is for the next couple weeks, to at least get this overall premium to zero. Because if you guys remember, we are deeply in the red when it comes to these options premiums. And as a reminder, here it is. Um, so far, guys, the sum for options premium, it is negative $285. Now, this is counting this uh, this one from Nike, which I sold it for. I, I didn't go over it, but I basically sold it for around 53 bucks, minus the commissions I have $52.34. So what happens on Friday, again, if the thing goes in the money, I will let it execute, get the 100 shares of 76, then begin selling cover calls, 25 to $30 premium every single week. You know, keep selling it, let it expire, keep selling it until it goes in the money on, on the call side and then get that premium and then get my share sold at that higher price above 76, right? If it's at 76 or if it's under that, then I probably will not let it expire in the money, obviously, because I don't want to lose money on the 100 shares. So that's basically what I'm doing with that. And let's see if I can get this negative $285 close to zero by the end of the year. I don't have a lot of time. They could have like six weeks. We shall see what happens with that. So let's actually jump into now the dividends. And I got to say something bad happened. I don't know. I think I have an explanation for it, but I'm not sure. I'll go over that in just one second. What in the world happened here? Um, it's a little bit concerning, but I, I think I have the explanation. And it does make logical sense. So. When it comes to this dividend so far, guys, estimated this year is going to be $6,446.42, an average monthly of $537.20. Now, so far, so far this year, or sorry, this month, we have gotten around $237.42 with $158.15 remaining. Now, by the 15th, we are supposed to be getting a whole lot of dividends. We're supposed to be getting, I believe, AbbVie. 
Realty income and a few more if I'm not I think like two more if I'm not mistaken. So there's still a lot left. There's a lot more dividends still to come. We're only halfway through the month, not even halfway through the month since I'm recording this. It is the 13th. But that is uh, essentially what it's looking like for November. Now, December. This is a little bit of an issue because if you guys go back to the previous ones, to the previous uh, you know, dividend updates that I have done, you all should remember that that December one was upwards of around $1,200. Unfortunately, it is down now to $958. So I'm a little bit confused slash concerned about this. That's a big, big drop. And it's not like there was, was a glitch because in September... The portfolio did a thousand. And it's not just, guys, in December of 2024. If we take a look at the next 12 months, March, once again, under a thousand. June, under a thousand. September, under a thousand. So I'm not really understanding as to what occurred here. And there is this awesome X account that I follow that is called Dividend Cut. They basically go over all the dividend cuts that happen when it happens. There's also another one called Dividend Hike that does the opposite. I think it's run by the same person, honestly. But if we take a look at this, guys, there is not a single company here that I own that cut dividends. I mean, going back to August 29th, we could see that MPW cuts dividend by 46.7%. I don't own MPW, right? We also have, let's see over here, uh, here's Dividend Hike. Um, but Dividend Hike mentioned that Esther Lauder cuts dividend 47%. I don't own Esther Lauder either. We got Salonese, Salon I don't know how to say this company, cuts dividend by 95%. I don't own it. We got TTEC, suspends dividend. I don't own it. Berry Corporation cuts dividend by 75%. I don't own it. So I have not, I don't own any companies that have cut dividends so far, yet for some reason this is occurring. My conclusion is that ex-dividend dates have not been announced when it comes to certain companies, which is what's leading this to be like this, right? Certain companies haven't announced ex-dividend dates yet. So without that, the program is just like, oh, I, uh, that dividend is gone, right? The dividend is gone, but we know it's going to happen. It just has not, been, uh, has not been announced yet. So I think that's the explanation for that. But that really is all I wanted to cover when it comes to this video. I'm not going to go over the overall graphs. I'm going to save that for you know, up until the, um, we, we, we go through the full month on this, but ending it with, of course, the portfolio, you guys saw this at the beginning so far, it has been uh, an interesting month on the one month. This thing is up only $429. Now there was a big, big drop right here. As you guys can see on November 10th, well, technically the 11th or technically from the 10th to the 12th. And it was mainly due to Abvi. Abvi. Oof, Abby dropped, I believe, like, or Abby nuked me like two grand because one of their, I guess, schizophrenic um, drugs didn't get through, uh, didn't get through the, the pipeline <clears throat> or something along those lines. So <clears throat> that's the reason why Abby did lose a lot, right? You guys can see right there, this thing was upwards of nearly $200. Now it is $170. So that's the reason why the portfolio is only up around. 500 not even 500 bucks 429 dollars so it is what it is but aside from that guys it's still looking really really good this year's i mean so far on the year to date portfolio is up twenty six thousand eight hundred and forty four dollars overall so really really good overall and when it comes to the overall value of the portfolio because the previous graph shows both contributions and overall net value increase this one gives you the difference between the two and we can see that the value your account has gained twenty eight thousand two hundred ninety five dollars and 24 cents as of january 24 to november 12 excluding net contribution so the year extra twenty eight thousand three hundred bucks basically not too bad in overall net worth so that pretty much does it guys for this video. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. So we'll see what happens with this whole dividend thing. I'm not really too sure why that's malfunctioning. Not really certain about that. And we'll see what happens with the whole Nike situation. Um, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. We shall see. But I do want to own Nike regardless because it's a company that I think has, uh, has pretty good fundamentals and I think it's way undervalued right now. So... 
Tell me what you guys think. Tell me where you guys are at. If you would like to share, tell me where you guys are at currently so far here today or, or on the month. And uh, if you any of you guys have Schwab, let me know if Schwab has done that kind of funky thing with um with the investment income. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So make sure to follow us next XFL Investing. Join us on Discord, which is the best way to catch the videos, shorts, and live streams. The link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out, and we shall see you all next time.